Hello everyone, so these are some fantastic artworks by the artist Louise Nevelson and these are going to inspire our project today. As you can see, she used a lot of found objects, both natural and man-made, and stuck them into these little boxes and then painted them all one colour. to make our own Louise Nevelson themed artworks. And what we are using for our artworks is some objects which we found outside. We have to use more art, we've got to fill it up. So the boys have already started placing some of these objects into their little frames. Now, if you don't have an old frame like this, you could just use a piece of cardboard or even a shoebox lid. You could just turn your shoebox lid upside down so it makes a little tray like this. Now, Ozzy's is already painted white, but that was just because I was going to do something else with it. It's just a coincidence. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be painted first. You're going to paint everything else afterwards. Now, Auntie, look. Listen, one rule. You can't have one item on top of the other. It needs to be to the background so that it can be stuck easily, okay? I won't make, could maybe lie over that, that's okay, because that's very thin. Maybe the twig can go over that, but we need to make sure that they're not coming out too far. So what we want to try and do is fill up this whole space. So why don't we try some nice bark. There's some nice bark in there, Rosie? Yeah. There's another piece here. Oh, look, you need smaller bits. Oz, why don't you have the big piece of bark and then give Artie the little piece, because your frame's a bit bigger. If we do it diagonally, like that, I don't like it. then you can fit them both in. We've got some little sort of, I don't even know what this is from, it, from something a little bit like an acorn, it's a sort of a cup. So if you stick those upwards, they're going to make a little cup shape. If you stick them downwards, they're going to make a little dome. We've got a lovely twisted piece of bark here. Who wants this twisted piece? Me! Not you, okay, Me. so Ozzy. I don't find a good have space anything for well, we need to try and fill up a bit more of these spaces. What about some of these little acorn things? Okay. Yeah? So what we're going to do, and I'm going to speed up the next bit because it might be a little bit boring to watch, is we're going to lift up these and just stick them down in place and we're going to use a glue gun. You need some really strong glue for this. You could use like white glue or wood glue. Um, that might work, or a glue gun, or even Yoohoo glue, that's also pretty strong. So we're going to stick these or on. Or super glue. Super glue, but super glue probably wouldn't work quite as well, because these are very porous items. They will soak in so much of the glue, so it might not work. So we're going to stick as many pieces as we can fit in these frames, being careful not to completely cover one interesting object with another. So if we've got a nice shell like this, we don't want to put it right underneath our bark, because then we can't see it, right? And look at this which I put. It was all these acorn stuff together. All stuck together, so they look like a flower, the way they were stuck together. Ah, so you can leave them on there, baby. No. I'm going to no. do it so it looks like He's going to take them off. We need to fill Neither. up the space. This is nice, but you want to fill up the space. No, You've got to really pack this. it in. Okay, so let's get the glue gun. First sit down, is it? So here I am with the glue gun being very careful not to burn anybody and we are sticking on all of the boys pieces uh, that they have found in nature to make a nice little composition so I would recommend having your kitties lay out the pieces where they want them first and then just gently lifting up one piece at a time and sticking it in place it is super dangerous if they get hold of the glue gun because it does hurt you could also use Yoohoo glue as well or any other really strong glue, although I would not recommend super glue. Um, this glue gun works really well for this project um, and my kids were pretty good about not touching. So here we have Ozzy with his artwork and Artie with his at this stage in the game. But then we're going to add colour. So, shall we paint them now? Yeah. I want this one. Okay, so, we've got some nice big paintbrushes for this job. This is about a good size. 
You're going to be covering the whole thing with paint, okay, Aussie? Don't pick at it because they will come off those bits and then it's very difficult to glue them back when they're all wet with paint. Okay. So if it does happen that a bit falls off, we're just going to leave it and we'll glue that back on later, but hopefully that won't happen. Now, I have an aqua kind of paint here for Artie and I have this deep blue for Aussie and we're going to make it a bit lighter in some places with a bit of lighter blue and a bit darker in some places if I can get any of this black out but it does feel like it may have run out. We also have a little bit of metallic paint here. We've got some blues, some aquas and some greens. I always think it looks really nice if they have a little bit of metallic paint in there for a sheen, for a nice little shiny um, edges to just pick up on the details. So we're going to go ahead and paint this right now and I'm going to speed this bit up and then we can show them what it looks like at the end. Should yeah. we do that? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? So now it is time to add lots of paint to these, and I mean lots. It takes an awful lot of paint to cover all of the little nooks and crannies around your objects. Um, it wasn't a very good idea not to wear an apron or a scruffy t-shirt for this perhaps, so maybe grab one if you have one. Um, we have chosen a, a blue for Aussie and an aqua for Artie because I knew that they love these colors. We're also adding a couple of slightly darker shades of the same color. So essentially it's going to be one color per child, but Aussie has some darker blue, Artie has some darker aqua, and then we are adding some little touches of metallic paint as well. Um, it looks nice if it's all one color and if it's uniform, because then it really shows off those natural objects in all their, um, all their natural glory. So I hope you like these. I think they look pretty cool. As you can see, I had to help out because getting the paintbrush in all of those little gaps was quite tricky. And this is what they look like when they were finished. I think we might put them on the wall.